Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Ross. I'm a photographer and video maker from Northern Ireland. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So if you happen to see one of my more recent YouTube videos, you'll have seen that a few weeks ago, I went on a family holiday slash road trip across the north of England. With me, I brought my X-T4, loaded up with my five favorite Fujifilm recipes that I created this year. But in today's video, I wanted to share what other camera I brought with me to shoot with on that trip. As well as my X-T4, I also brought with me my Yashica Electro 35, which is the first film camera I ever bought. And I made a video unboxing it, which you can watch up here. This Yashica Electro 35 is a really easy, fun camera to use. It's aperture priority, so you choose your aperture and then the camera chooses the shutter speed for you, but you can set the ISO on the top. It's a range finder, so you just look through this bit here. Uh, you, there's no mirror, so you're not looking through the lens. But the range finder patch on this camera is so big and really clear, so it's quite easy to focus. It's a really interesting camera to try and expose your shots right as well, because you choose the aperture, set your ISO on top, which is key, and then there's two lights on top of this camera. One to tell you if you're gonna be lower than a 60th of a second, and then the other light is to tell you that the shutter speed will be needs to be faster than 500ths of a second, but that's the maximum for this camera, so it'll be overexposed. So the Yashica Electro 35 was the camera that I decided to bring with me on that little UK trip. You may be asking, what film stock did I decide to load into it? Well, I have some here. It's Lomography's Color Negative 800 film. This is a film stock that I've wanted to shoot even before I started shooting film because the colors are just so vibrant from this film stock. The green, I think, is just like perfect. If I'm shooting film, I want there to be green present, you know? When walking around all those little towns that Ruth and I decided to visit on our little family holiday, I was shooting JPEGs using those recipes featured in the previous video, but I was also shooting raw images because I knew that once I got my scans back from my Lomography 800 rolls, I'd wanna pull in those raw images into Fujifilm X-RAW Studio and create my own Lomography 800 recipe. So coming up now, I've got a bit of a side-by-side -side comparison between the actual Lomography 800 scans that I received back and the recipe that I've created in Fujifilm X-RAW Studio from the raw images that I shot on my X-T4. Obviously, this Lomography 800 recipe that I've created will be uh, listed in the description below this video, but I'll also throw it up alongside all my other recipes on my website, which is rossandisjpegs.com. And you can head over there, check out all my other recipes and use away at them. Just shoot me a message if you do, or tag me in the photographs, whatever. I'd love to see what you can come up with with a recipe that I've created. So film stock versus digital, who wins? Can you tell the difference? Let me know in the comments below.
So there you have it. There's the Lomography 800 film stock alongside the Lomography 800 recipe that I've created. What do you think? Do you think that they match? Because I think I got the recipe to match the film stock pretty well. I think you can definitely tell the difference in my images, which one's film and which one's digital, but it's not really down to the colors. It's more down to the vintage lens that's on the Yashica Electro and just like the indescribable quality that film has, you know, the soft edges and the glowing highlights, all that sort of stuff that just a digital camera really struggles to recreate. Maybe if I'd shot with a diffusion filter on the lens or something, I don't know, maybe we could have got closer, but I'm really surprised at how close this recipe does match the colors of Lomography Color Negative 800 film. So there you go, why don't you try out this recipe for yourself if you're interested in recreating the look of Lomo 800 with your Fujifilm files. Again, if you want to check out all my other recipes, they're on my website, it's rossonsjpegs.com. Let me know what you think of this recipe in the comments below, and if you try it out, tag me in the images or whatever. Thanks so much for watching, subscribe, like, all that jazz, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!